after Easy had passed, uh, Suge went on a talk show uh -huh. and made some comments about the, the injecting yeah, with, yeah. The, with the AIDS, the, the Easy e thing. Uh, how old were you when you first heard that? Mm, I was a little older. I was, I was, I think I was um, my high school days. Okay. How, how did you feel when you first heard that that comment? Mm, high school days, I was young and dumb. So, a couple of his family members got the wrath of that. So I just put it that way. Wait, wait, I don't understand. A couple of Shug's family members got the wrath of how I felt at that time. His okay. nephew, everybody else. You knew them. Uh, yeah, went you, to school. Oh, you were in high school with them? Yeah, uh -huh. went to high school with them. So was there an altercation that oh, happened? Oh, yeah, broke a lot of noses and knuckle faces and knuckles and all that. Did a lot, a, lot of, a lot of that. Did a lot of, you know, not to incriminate. Did a lot of ignorant stuff when I was a young kid. I, was, I, I thought dumb at that time. So with a dumb kid, you could throw anything in the air that's as sensitive as feeling like your father being gone because that's the only reason why I'm in the streets and act as ignorant as I am at that point in time in my life because I was angry at the world. I was chasing to know, to be, and releasing the anger off of something that I was missing. I didn't get to get taught, you know what I mean, to have intercourse with your first woman, your first girlfriend, or, you know what I mean, you lost your virginity. Things you talk to your dad, small stuff, throwing a football, your first football practice, your first football game. I, didn't, I couldn't go through all of that with my father. Your dad was gone. Yeah. yeah, so you're talking about an angry kid. You know, you're talking about a not, too sensible at mind when it comes to the streets, kid, A, a and B student. So when it, when you telling me that I, you want me to graduate, I'm gonna do what it has to do with work. But when I get back on these streets though, and I'm just smarter than the average ones on the streets now, I'm just ignorant, you know what I mean? I'm just, I go to a, a kind of out the box person. So when I first heard that at high school, yeah, you know, I, I reacted to it. Anybody who has anything to do with that side of Compton or where you from, or any family member will do, I'm gonna feel that way. Yeah. Even to you yourself. I mean, it was situations to where, you know, if he was sitting here, he'll remember, I remember that time that car rolled by and you jumped in the back of your car and you had to swerve off and go here and there's a couple of young kids in the car. Yeah, I was on a mission, you know, I, I was ignorant. You know, as I got older, it's stupidity. I mean, just listen to a person who just wants entertainment on whatever show, was it Kimmel? You said? I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah Kimmel. just entertainment, you know what I mean? I talked to Doc about this. Yeah. Shug was a big kid. He's a deviant. You know what I mean? Like, he used to tell stories about pissing on football players' legs in the shower and thought that was just the funniest shit in the world. You know what I mean? Um, he was just a, uh, yeah, a deviant. He just liked to do crazy shit. Do you feel there's any truth in that when you heard it? Um... If there's any truth in that, to, to, to be real with you, as a respect that I have for you, if there's any truth in that, it's be above his head. You know, if there's if any truth to that of going on, you ain't the culprit. You know, uh, you, you might be stupid enough to speak on some stuff that you shouldn't be saying, but you're not the culprit, you know what I mean? So it's a little above your head to as far as in how you're saying it, you know what I mean? Uh, me personally, how I feel. This is Eric personally, how I feel. Um, and it is. Doc's very right. That is his attitude. That's, that is how he is. You know what I mean? He, we're speaking of somebody who had, next to Ruthless Records, the biggest, one of the biggest hip hop companies that going on and lose it like that. Off of what? Stupidity and ignorance. You know what I mean? You, you, you had it going on. You had Dr. Dre, you had Tupac, you had Snoop Dogg, the dog pound. You had if, if it wasn't NWA, that was the rest of the coast right you there. You had Dr. Dre. Yeah, you had the rest of the coast right there. That was that all the lineage of the West Coast. So, Nate Dogg. Oh, I mean, oh my goodness. Warren G on. could speak on, man. You know what I mean? Ray, Lady of Rage. You had some individual, very much, very, very iconic talent over there that you fucked off. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we're you're dealing with individuals who don't think all the way right, has a deviant attitude in that nature, but. Hey, you might, you might you might open Pandora's box that you weren't supposed to, you know what I mean? And hey, we're gonna think of the current in life now. Now, you know, are you paying for a lot of stuff that you do? I don't wish that on nobody, but hey, you kind of, I believe in it. You kind of reap what you sow, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, how did you feel when you saw 
the Suge video and the, the running over of, of Terry. Very bad. Uh, Terry's a very good friend of mine. Oh, Terry's a good friend yeah, of mine. Yeah, I know Terry. Terry Carter very well. You know, I know Bone very well. I know all yeah, of them very yeah, well. Yeah, both of them. Yeah. Um, I was... <laughs> I knew the situation that was going on beforehand it was going on. I was in a place uh, <laughs> not not free. I was in a place that not free. Uh, basically, I see him a lot. I seen the fat guy a lot in the first few months that you were in the place that you're in. So I was in a place that not free. So I seen it on TV, and it hurt me because you know I wish I was there to go, to pay my respects to Terry at his funeral and his family. Um, and the situation was just bad, but I kind of seen the situation bubbling beforehand when it was bubbling when we were filming the Straight Outta Compton um, movie. You know, it was a lot of a lot of situations that he was involving himself in in a wrong manner. So, so Suge was coming or trying to come to the NWA set? Most definitely. But before the actual uh, situation? Oh, most, de most definitely. Really? Most definitely. You know okay. what we're dealing with, you know? So He thinks it was the 80s in, the, in this new era of times now. You think you can run up on somebody and feel like because your character is being portrayed in the movie that you can just give me that. Oh no! It's business you can handle. There's there are certain ways and protocols you could go about this. You know, you you have rights to what you're saying. You know, what I mean, and I'm just speaking factual. Everybody understands what Jerry Heller's going through right now with them. So it's 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 you have rights to what you're saying as your character. You know, but you're just not going to go about it in this nature like you're in the early '90s again. You know, what I mean, the world doesn't fear you. You know, what I mean, the world didn't fear you then. You were just intimidating to a lot of executives at that time and a lot of entertainers and artists at that time. And you were going about things in the wrong way. You know, all prayer and blessings to him, man, because he's in a place that I don't wish for no man whatsoever, man, They're going through a situation you're going through and what you're facing. You know, I don't wish that on anybody. And I, I've seen him in there. I, I was in there, to be real with you. So you were locked up with Shug? Mm -hmm. No, I wasn't locked up with him. I was locked up in the county at the same time. Same time. I was locked up before he came in, and I was there in it till, till <laughs> for a period of time that he was in there. Did you guys run into each other? Most definitely. He didn't see it. He didn't under notice it. See, he's on a, what you call high, uh, um, he's on high profile. He's, you know, he's high powered, you know what I mean? Because of course who he is. Uh, I go through the same thing as that, but I get D class. You know, I'm speaking jailhouse talk. So he was in what, p p PC? Uh, no, him? Yeah. It's not PC, it's PC to PCs, but at the same time, it's like it's the same place Robert Downey bought the TVs for, you know, when he was locked up. It's just, you're, you're a star, so you're, in, you're you know, you're in high power. You're, you're in high watch, you're being shackled, you're being escorted around. He's in high, you know, I mean, so, you know, you know, identity of a person. So yeah. therefore he's gonna be put to strict recall. So when we come, you know, me being in GP and regular population, I gotta face the wall be when he walks by. So we used to do it all the time in visiting. He visited the same time I had visiting on the weekends. And then, so when we pass each other, we got to face the wall when we come in a certain distance. So I walk and we, we're, look, we're seeing each other, facing each other. But as a deputy tells you, face the wall, inmate. And then they got to escort this high profile person around, video cameras, all that and the other. So I've seen him plenty of times. Have you two ever seen each other outside? Oh yeah, most definitely. Of we, county? Yeah, we, we, I knew, yeah, we met, we met before. So you had conversations yeah. with him? Uh-huh, uh-huh. What was that like? Oh, uh, did it as a man, uh, as I got older. He wanted to reach out to me and, and, and sit and meet. And um, I said, okay, I mean, I don't fear him. You know what I mean? Uh, at that time, I knew you feared a little bit of me. You know, certain situations, you know, can't speak on. But uh, I'm a man now, you know what I mean? I'm a grown man. Um, so what you want to talk about? We sat down, I think it was the Four Seasons, and uh, just had a conversation, you know, about some things he, he, he wanted to illustrate to me that he just wanted to, Finally, as a man, meet and talk. Old things that you feel, you want to get off your chest, and you know, what I mean, how much respect you have for my father, how y'all were friends, and it was like this. It was for the media, you know, what I mean, it was, it was, it was over Dre, and but they always knew each other, and on 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 a, on a real street level, it's that and the other. So it was, you know, what I mean, so it was a conversation of that nature, and then I know how you felt about the whole Straight Outta Compton movie. You know, and I mean, did he address the whole signing of the contract thing with you? Oh, uh, which uh, that the 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 force um, the force signing of the contract. 
at that time, I think I was just reaching over the grown man tip. So that's a question I just didn't want to sit there and even bring up. But it could it got to the point to where I could have got into a situation where I asked you. It's just that I didn't want my reaction to sit there and really go there. So if you didn't get the right answer, it might uh, have not even not the right answer. It's just if I'd have just heard it come out your mouth and felt like it was wrong, then it's going to go a bad way. So it's best if I just leave it at that long. I like my okay. freedom. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I like my freedom. So, you know, it's I don't know who you told you coming over here with. <laughs> so I like my freedom. I don't want no, hey, you're missing. And then, and then hey, I ought to be the cause. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I, I was, like I said, I was a man. I didn't have that with you no more. Doing something or feeling a certain way about an individual is not going to bring my father back. I went through years, you know, 20 plus now that we're speaking on of, of dealing with this pain. You know what I mean? And, and no individual in the world can sit there and, and cure it or make it. I don't care if you told me the story. I don't care if you told me a whole heap of tribe of individuals stabbed him up with something that was from their tribe or their culture or their diseases that were over there and set them in a bed and Everybody had a plan to get rid of them and any other. That yeah. still wouldn't do nothing to me. It, I like it's not gonna get nowhere to where it is. You know how I feel like, hey, something serious happened to my father. You know what I mean? And 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 a nature that I don't think is cool, but it's not gonna do nothing for Eric. It, it, the closure to it is, is, you might unleash a beast. That what's gonna do for me now? I got kids to live for. When you and I last spoke, and this was probably about ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I first got it, yeah, you're about right. About ten years yeah. ago, at your mm -hmm. grandmother's house, I believe, mm -hmm. in Compton. Mm -hmm. Born and raised, yeah. And and I asked you whether there you felt there was some some foul play, having to do with your father dying, mm -hmm. and you said that you you do believe that there's mm -hmm. some. I've talked to, for example, Bone Thugs and Harmony about this particular subject. I mean, even to this day, none of his kids, none of his baby mamas, his mistresses, anybody, nobody has came up with HIV or nothing like that. So, I mean, just just rationally thinking something, something had to go on. Yeah, and, and, it's just, and it's just ironic because, you know, I know people can live with HIV for years and look normal and look healthy, but, but when you're about to die from AIDS, full-blown AIDS, you're going to look like you're going to die from AIDS. I've seen people that die from AIDS and they look like they have AIDS. Easy didn't look like that at all. When you sit back and look at all the information, you know, where, you know, where medicine is today and, and everything else like that, do you feel that there was some foul play involved or do you feel that, you know, your dad was out there not using condoms and sometimes this happens when you live that type of lifestyle? Mm. Same way I felt when I first met you. Same way I felt. Same There's exact way. Some foul play. Most definitely. What do you think happened? Mm, it's in the air. Um, just felt he was he was just gotten rid of. If you want to ask me the truth, I felt he just got rid of. It's a, it's a bad situation. It's an individual, you know, that is not benefiting a lot of others. So, got rid of. You know. Who do you think was behind it? Hey, that's that's deep. It's deep. Um, that's something that's just that that sits in your brain. Those are the, those are what I call like the questions. that's not necessary for me to want to find out. Not necessary for me to know. Um, milk spilled, knocked over, just out of nowhere. Oh yeah, we know it happened. You know what I'm saying? How? Don't know, but I damn sure know that it it spilled. I damn sure know it was an accident that happened. I damn sure know it was something in a bad nature that happened. Um, don't want to find out as far as, mm, it's not going to do nothing for me, you know what I mean? But, you know, uh, it's crazy you asked me this. I got, a, I got a meeting with my sisters and it was the first time I heard this and she's never said it to me. Uh, my grandmother has never said it to me, but she said it to my sister. She just teared up out of nowhere and said, you know, I'm going to go to my grave knowing that my son died and didn't die of AIDS and I don't know what happened and I couldn't do nothing about it. So, you know, just how fucked up this world is. It's life, shit fucked up. We just was hey, one of the ones that got choose to go to a situation that don't make sense. As far as in a disease attacking you like that, as a kid, that's what I did. So when, you, so when I told you I'm straight A and B's, I did all that. I, the Montessori made me take classes in high school.
that the average ninth grader couldn't take. And a lot of those classes were science, you know, health to, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, just English, different things that I can expand my mind to reading and finding out and knowing and just understanding how your T cells work, you know what I mean? It just, it just, mm, that's kind of fast, you know. I don't know if he was giving some medicine to, 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 to kill off all of your immune system and actually did it to you in that sense, who knows, but something fast. I don't know if it was foul play in, 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 in situation with his doctors or were you giving a treatment that you weren't shit him not have had? Were you giving a treatment that your body could not recover from and then it shuts it down, which at the same time can cause actually you have an HIV to turn into the AIDS virus and just get you faster, but something was done to make the process faster. Even if you did have HIV, if you did have full-blown AIDS, the process was just attacking faster on some weird kind of foul play. And he had the operation. I heard that after, so after the operation happened, that's when When he, he didn't, I told you the story, when the yeah. tubes were in his mouth. So as a kid, I understood that if you went into the hospital knowing that you had a situation to where you had a weak immune system with this virus, how do you feel they're gonna, you're gonna be able to recover from an operation while fighting off this virus, regardless of what medicine did, because the technology wasn't that strong back then as in the medicine we have now. You know what I mean? To where you possibly can have a cold and still balance with the balance of medication that you have to still not be so sickly to it. You know, possibly even pneumonia nowadays. Who knows? But back then, we didn't have that. So for that to go on is in a situation that could be what you talk about foul play, as in why and what authority did they give to do this? You know, it could go deeper than a person talking about how we shot a person with a needle, which, like I say, you didn't. Who's we and who you going to tell on, dog? This is something that we've been feeling, you know what I mean? So if you, if, hey, just, you got one of them dum-dums, hey, we didn't hit, me and you didn't hit the, 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 the national whatever bank or something like that, and we didn't got away with a hundred. You know, what, what idiot's going to go go talk? You see what I'm saying? And so you're one of those idiots that will talk and sit there and put that in a, in a universe to the world to sit there and see. So and not to think like when we go back and just touching up on that situation, that question again is not, you're not in a situation to do that, but are you sitting there saying or inquiring about a situation to go on? Are you sitting there saying, hey, we can sit there and, and do this? Then, hey, dumb them the fool. And I wouldn't be surprised because now they got you, now, now whoever got you in a situation just to be, why? Because I can send that dog in the street and know he's gonna get ran over. You know, you didn't cause a lot of problems, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And like I say, I do not wish bad on me, but just speaking on a situation of that nature, like, what are you saying? And then look at the situation you're in, you know? I don't, hey, now, what, what, can, can, what, what can we say? You have, a, you have a national, I mean, you have a, you have a, a, a big iconic individual who was, who was responsible for all this good entertainment and music and, and this big record crew, a group that came out and a, after Dr. Dre left NWA and Hey, what happened to him? Oh, it's nothing. We just sit there, make him real mad, make him run the street, run somebody over, and just get rid of him real fast. That's how we do that. We call that the run over your friend thing. You know what I mean? I could just be ignorant, say some stupid shit like that, but you know, it's beyond you. But it was something that went on. You're enlightened on what we just felt for a long time. It was something that went on a little too fast and too serious for him to pass away just like that. Now, before the whole situation with, with Terry Carter and Suge, you, you were on the, the NWA set. Uh -huh. And how many times did Suge actually come, try to come on the set? Did he actually, actually make it on the I, set? No, um, and personally, um, to be personally honest with you, it was said out of his mouth that he made an attempt once, maybe twice, to call that he was coming. You know, a lot of times it would just be a lot of, you really, he really felt he was like that. It was just a little, all right, well, I'm finna, and I'm finna stop it, and I'm finna woo through, but just, uh, the button's not clicking for you like that, you know, no more. So it was just a really, as I spoke to a friend, it was just a lot of threats, too. I went on twice, you know, I mean, my sister went on maybe every day, my sister Erica Wright. And um, she didn't give me no understanding that him himself has, she has visually seen him on there, but has been told maybe one time that he was coming up there and kind of had them on like a, you know, thing, but, <laughs> but you know what I mean, possibly humored him, you know what I mean? But um, no, I just know he was, 
he was on a mission for 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 what was due to him he say um for a movie that had his character in it and he just really went about it in the wrong way dog and well because you're legally allowed if you're doing a biopic you could portray someone based on your experience with them. You don't have to get their permission or pay them or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, but it, there was fair business going on. You know, it was fair business going on with this movie. It was fair, you know, business going on with this movie um, and how they handled it or was going to handle it with his situation. You know what I mean? He just, he just played the fool. You know, excuse me to say, he just, he just, yeah, he just played, played kind of, kind of dumb to it. You just, you don't go about it in, in the way that you're going about it now. It's not Vanilla Ice and everybody else now. Excuse me, no disrespect to him, but you're just not finna threaten me and come in and, and, and feel like you're just gonna come wherever we appear at to do things and demand and, and, and you know, dictate your way of what's gonna go on. And when you met with him, he talked about the Straight Outta Compton movie and his portrayal mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. and what, what, was, what did he say when during the I, He wanted to get paid. He wanted, he wanted to get paid. paid. He wanted to go in there and ask for ridiculous things and in a way that he wanted, not to talk and do business and, and say, hey, you know, okay, can we talk about this and what, how, how can we go about this? Like, no, give me this. <laughs> and you're talking about people that are worth hundreds of millions of dollars who have the best security money could buy. And we're not talking about bone, we're talking about I'm sure the type of people that were there <laughs> that, you know, if I was Dre, I'd have green berets and Navy SEALs sitting around Sit in the me. corner, hidden coffee. Notice this man has not left this place at all. Notice that he did not really take a break. He has got his coffee brought to him. <laughs> he has not moved. He's dressed just as normally as all of us, but he just has a little more bulkiness around certain areas. You know what I mean? And then yeah. when you re if you went and asked for his business card, you're going to see that sheriff for some, some amount of years yeah. tagged on his thing. Yes, exactly. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? It's like, especially if we're finna be, we're, we're worth this much. Not necessarily needed, yeah. but we're going to the streets of LA that, you know, just being realistically, that a lot of us have not touched or seen in years. Matter of fact, since probably we have started this group. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just, hey, let's just be a little, little, little cautious around the individuals who might just not want to see us happy. Just yeah. not might want to see us make money. You know, don't want to see us, you know, do good in, in life. Don't, matter of fact, have something to say about the story we're portraying that doesn't involve them, which they probably were in the group, or their opinion of how we should do it. Yes, you know, I had a lot of old homeboys from Compton, like, wow, yeah, I got to, I ain't seen Dre in years. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just went on set when my homeboys called me, said he was working in security and all that. And the of course. Why? Because this security is still a person that's in the area, in the hood. So therefore, when he goes back and they want, oh, can I just get me on? Yeah, man, we'd be cool. A lot of people are going to be on set for something that's just uh, that big and iconic. You're talking about individuals who probably, that was me in the front row. <laughs> you know, I was the one pop locking with E. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you know what I mean? You've got a lot of individuals that, 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 that has that or has a story to sit there and say. So everybody's going to come. So uh, most definitely. Security is at an all-time high. Sure, they probably got poor, paid more than the grip people. You know what I mean? Yeah, the camera absolutely. crew and all that. You know what I mean? Like, so you're going about the wrong way. I understand that mindset because I like have that. Like, because you don't believe in somebody so much, you just joke on them. Like, I'm gonna joke on you. I don't believe you. Mm -hmm. So I understand it, but you know, I want hip hop. Period. Like. Yeah. to stop the shenanigans with that type of shit. Like, yo, motherfucker rap, go rap. My monthly uh, overhead for my household and employee, just household employees, was somewhere in the neighborhood of a million dollars a month I was spending. 